Welcome back guys to our solo Cecil run of Final Fantasy IV for the Super Nintendo. We're now back on the moon, but before we head back to the Crystal Palace, I'd like to make a quick stop over here to the right to the cave. A little humming wave cave. Humming way cave, not wave. Anyway though, it's right here. You go inside, it's filled to the brim with uh, humming ways, obviously. They look like naming ways from uh, Earth. One of them runs a shop, so we have to find the one that runs the shop. The reason why we're here is because the shop guy sells the elixirs. They might be expensive, but hey, we've got money and uh, we need to spend it because there ain't nothing else to spend it on, so we needed to get as many elixirs as we could. I'll buy high potions now. I highly doubt we'll need this many, but good to be prepared, I guess. And there we go. And I'm going to go ahead and fast forward back to me at the Crystal Palace, so uh, I'll see you there. Alright, we are now back here at the Crystal Palace, getting ready to go to the very final area of this game, which is the Moon's Core. You can talk to each of these crystals, they'll each say something different, but it's not important, so I'm not going to worry about it. We shall guide you to the core. Check out the little flashy colors and we'll be warped then we will be warped to the core. Here we go. Here at the core you can get uh, most of the characters best equipment like you can get uh, dragon equipment for Kane or and you can get crystal equipment for Cecil. I'm not going to really worry about getting the crystal equipment because all the chests that have crystal equipment have enemies inside. And uh, we're high enough level that I think we'll be able to get by just fine with the equipment that we have. So I'm not going to worry about, you know, fighting the enemies and wasting time to get the crystal equipment. The Moon's Core also has several legendary weapons that uh, you have to go through pretty much boss battles to obtain. but. Obviously, they're the most powerful weapons and whatnot for each of the characters. Which, again, I'm not really worried about. That elixir is really the only treasure I'm going to go out of my way for here at the core. As usual, we're just going to keep running from uh, random encounters, as common as they are. Later on, as we get deeper into the moon's core, we won't be able to run away from enemies normally. So instead of just running away, I'll actually have to cast Exit. Which isn't a big deal because I don't really use Cecil's magic for much anyway. This enemy right here, the Tricker, I think that they should have called it like Lord Imp or Lord Goblin or something like that. Because calling it Tricker, you know exactly what he's trying to do. If he called him something else, more people may have fallen for his trick. Whatever though. Not a big deal. We don't have a whole lot more left to this part of the moon's core. As usual, like I said earlier, keep running from these battles. We're high enough leveled that we don't need to grind for experience and we don't really need money at this point in the game. Although if I really, really wanted more elixirs, I could spend time farming for a ton of cash, but I don't need more elixirs, so I'm not going to worry about it. veteran casts doom on us. It's a funky noise that the doom spell makes whenever it gets used. I would have expected something evil or sounding, I guess, or creepy. We should be coming up to the final area of this part of the moon, and here we are, the final area. As soon as we go down and around this little section here, we will be at the door that leads deeper into the moon's core. Which will be the area where I can't just normally run away from enemies. I'll have to cast exit to get away from them. Which will take a little while longer, obviously, but hey, doesn't matter. At least we can, at least we can run. Like I said, we aren't using our MP for anything else, so it doesn't hurt that either. And I haven't used Exit in battle at all this run, so may as well check it out. Neat little effect, I guess. 
My only complaint to using it is how it really slowly fades you out. I think they could have done that a little quicker, but that's just me being impatient. Weird mask. Glad it doesn't reflect the exit spell. Let's just keep on moving now. There are probably about four or five areas in the Deep Moon's core. The behemoth enemies aren't much to worry about, at least at the level that I'm at anyway. They'll always counterattack you whenever you hit them. They'll counterattack for about 300 or 400 damage at this level, which really isn't all that much damage. I'd kill them before they'd kill me, that's for sure. But really, like I said earlier, I don't need experience or money, so we're just going to keep running from battles. I really like the exit spell in battle. I really like how it makes everything all wavy, and I think that that's a pretty cool effect, but I just don't like how long it takes. Again, that's just me being impatient, though. Three red dragons. That reminds me, I have a blizzard item I need to use at some point. I'll probably use it during the final battle or something. Hopefully we won't have two more ran uh, too many more random encounters throughout the rest of these areas. Of course, we got one right now. I'm being careful not to cast a uh, sight in battle because that's pretty much worthless. It's pretty much worthless on the overworld too if you've played and beaten this game before. Really it just shows you what's around you. Useful if this is your first run, but after that you probably won't be using sight anymore. It's mind. I believe that there's another enemy that looks just like the mind enemy that just appeared and it's called body. Or something like that. We'll probably see it. No, breath is what it's called. Reporting to Master Zemus. Dang right, no weaknesses. Really? Do you have to scan me a whole bunch? There we go. I think this is the final area before the, we get to the final boss of the game. Final area of the Deep Moon's core. Come on. Hope you don't mind if I bother you, the enemy is saying. Oh, -ho. bad pun on his name. Think I'm losing my mind with all these bad puns. What do you think? Anyway, though. Oh my goodness, now I really am losing my mind. Stupid enemies. I guess that's what I get for making puns off of their names. Anyway, though, just exit our way out of here. Random encounter. You know, random encounters are really annoying if you can't walk more than two steps without being random encountered. That's alright, though. We're now at the final boss of the game. Let's go ahead and heal up. Not gonna waste, uh... Yeah, I have this AU apple I need to use. I'm not gonna waste any spells trying to heal up, so I'll just use high potions. You know, now that I think about it, we get healed right before the final battle against the final boss takes place. So that was kind of a waste of my potions. Golbez, Fusia! Kind of weird to see a smaller version of Golbez in the battle menu now. And his level 3 magic ain't doing crap. Neither did his holy. Wow. Cast Medio now. Ready. 
die trying. The body dies, but the spirit lives on. Like, oh no, he's fading away line by line. Wait for him to finish fading away. There we go. It is done. What waste. A man of such power to be consumed with evil. Right on! We meet again. Shucks, you guys beat me to it. Cecil. Cecil. Well, don't keep me waiting for the next line, guys. Aren't you going to say Cecil again? I am the incarnation of Zemus's and Midi. Zeromus, the absolute darkness, the epitome of hate. Death only increased Zemus's hatred. Zemus, or, sh or should I say Zeromus, I shall destroy you once and for all. Your hatred ends with us. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. You healed him? Dude, cool. Let me try to heal him. Dude, wicked. Meteo is useless. Use the crystal. Really, Fusia, you couldn't figure out that Meteo was useless after Golbez used it. The crystal. It is eclipsed. In the hands of darkness. It is no use. Agony, death, the hatred to rage on until all dies. Elder, we gotta do something. It is time. We must pray for them, we must pray for the world. Palum, Porum, we shall send everybody's prayers to Cecil. Cecil, pray show us your courage once more. We're all waiting for you. Please return safe. Return peace to Mother Earth. Please stand up. You're our last hope. Come on, bro. Everyone, please. Moon of the heavens, res receive our prayers. I almost said rescue our prayers. What? Anyway. Brother. Cecil, here, use this. Zeromus, for all life and for all those who gave their lives. We will not lose. You got this, bro. Please accept this. They gave you life. They give you life. Whatever. I would have liked to have been able to play as Palum and Porum more in this game. I hope this helps. Trust your power. Where did you come from, Tully? You passed away a long time ago. They give you strength. But yeah, I liked using Palom and Porum quite a bit. I thought that they left the party too early. Or too quickly, anyway. 
keep your focus. Come home soon. They give you vitality. I never did care much for using Sid either. But he's not in your party that long, so that's okay. You must prevail. Brother. With your holy power. Trust the crystal. Zeromus, show yourself. Alright, well guys, I'm going to kill everybody off, and this final battle is going to take quite a while, so uh, we're going to go ahead and stop here, and whenever we come back in the next part, we're going to be finishing off the final battle and checking out the ending to our solo Cecil run of Final Fantasy IV for the Super Nintendo. Well, that is it for this part.